What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 4 in the Fundamentals of Physics 8th Edition Textbook by Dura Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And in Problem 2, we are talking about a bicycle world record, and we are asked to find how long it takes one of the cyclists to go through a specified distance. And just to set this now, our cyclists' names are Sam Whittingham and Chris Huber. Sam Whittingham I am going to abbreviate as SW, and Chris Huber I am going to abbreviate as CH. And so the speed of SW is equal to the distance of SW divided by the time of SW. And since we are looking for the time, we can rearrange this by multiplying both sides by the time and dividing both sides by the speed, and that will give us the time of SW is equal to the distance of SW divided by the speed of SW. The distance we are given in the problem, but we are not given the speed. But what we are told is that the speed of SW is equal to the speed of CH plus 19 kilometers an hour. And now, okay, how do we get the speed of CH? The speed of CH is equal to the distance of CH over the time of CH. And we are actually given both of those in the problem, so we can plug those directly in. This is equal to 200 meters over 6.509 seconds. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that this is equal to 30.73 meters per second. And so now we can take this speed and plug it in here. So the speed of SW is equal to the speed of CH, which we just found to be 30.73 meters per second, plus 19 km per hour. Now the only issue is we have meters per second here and kilometers per hour here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this kilometers per hour into meters per second. And so in 1 km, we have 1,000 meters. In 1 hour, we have 60 minutes. And in 1 minute, we have 60 seconds. And so now our units here will be meters per second, which align with this. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the speed of SW is equal to 36 meters per second. And so now we have the speed of SW, which we can now plug into this equation to find our time. And so TSW is equal to 200 meters divided by 36 meters per second. And if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the time it takes for SW to go through 200 meters is equal to 5.56 seconds. And that's your final answer for this problem. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.